Good morning, everybody. Happy National Understanding Your Dog Day. Today, dog trainers everywhere are coming together to help educate dog owners on body language and how to understand your dog a bit better so that you have a more positive relationship and a safer interaction with your, not only your dog, but other dogs that you might encounter. So here's a video of my very first session working with Levi at the Colonial Capital Humane Society. He is a nervous dog. He does have some reactivity problems. And this is a video of our first interaction and I will be pointing out some body language clues that helped me understand how to keep us both safe and how to avoid pushing him over threshold where he would be barking or feeling like he needed to create space for himself. So right off the bat, we're noticing a lip lick. This is commonly understood as a, a stress signal but I'm more concerned about Levi's body tenseness. So you can see how tense his back legs are. The tail is not tucked, but it's very stiff, pressed down, um, straight down. His ears are pinned back and he is avoiding eye contact. He's turning his head away from me. Here, he, make, he looks at me, feels a little too much pressure and makes a choice to create more space for himself by walking away. Levi's keeping his head very low, especially when he glances over at me, but then he always turns his head back away. And this is an invitation to keep my distance. It's Levi asking for space. Here you'll see a whale eye where Levi is turning his eyes to glance at me, but not his head. And then we get a yawn, which is another stress signal for a dog when it's out of place. So Levi is trying to relieve some tension by yawning, um, and that's just another signal that he needs some space and he's not fully comfortable right now. Here I can tell that our conversation is starting to break through to Levi because he's comfortable enough to lay down. That's actually a win in my book. Notice when I throw a treat, he elicits another stress signal, closing the muzzle in a whale eye. That is another sign that me putting my arm into that bubble was still too much for him. So from here on out, we just sit together. I kind of make myself busy and I just allow Levi to learn to trust that I'm not going to invade his space. So thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for these kinds of stress signals in your dogs and the other dogs in your life to help keep you and everyone else around you safe and as happy as possible. Happy National Understanding Your Dog Day.